This is everything you need to know about today's update. Now, don't get your hopes up too high. We didn't get much, if anything at all. Now, big shout out to Epic for gifting me the Three Stripe Squad bundle as part of the Epic Partner Program. They released this Adidas collab, which has five different skins. You also get a back bling, a pickaxe, and a brand new emote. So if you guys plan on buying this bundle, make sure to use creator code CRAFTYPLAYS. Now we did get a teaser for LEGO Fortnite's first fast traveling system using the battle bus. Now this was posted in a tweet by Epic that mentioned that this is coming in a free update to LEGO Fortnite very soon. When they use the word soon, that is something that people can overlook and believe that that's something that's coming maybe as early as this week. But I need you guys to remember, they did tell us they were going to add in the option to change the settings on our survival world and we would be getting storm wild animals added into our own old survival worlds soon and it's been a month and we still haven't received those updates either one of the first changes you can notice is the waiting screen inside of lego fortnite this used to be star wars related as we had a lot of star wars ui on our screen all of that has been removed anything that is actually in-game content has remained with star wars that has not left and is not going to leave but any waiting screens or anything like that star wars related have been removed speaking of this menu area when you guys take a look at where the lego pass was it has now just been changed to the battle royale one which is the cursed sales pass this doesn't give you anything lego related outside of different skin variants so you can get a jack sparrow skin variant inside of here but there are no builds so outside of the jack sparrow variant and then the cursed jack sparrow there's nothing else specifically for lego fortnite that's inside of this pass so hopefully they do add something for us here inside of this pass area but for right now we don't have anything now we also got new colors on our pigs added into this game as well. You can now see that instead of just having that pink or that gray, you now have the dark blue variation of this as well. These can be found inside of the grasslands biome. They don't give you anything special. They're nothing new. All that they do is just have a different skin color to them or an overall color to them. And then they still give you the same slurp mushrooms that any pig gives to you. Now the bigger thing that we got that is a actual big deal is going to be the butter cake, which can now be found inside of your oven this takes two flour two egg and four milk to create if you guys didn't know the code name for clombo is actually butter cake clombo and now we have that food item inside of here it also has the description that says if you know you know which is obviously hinting at the clombo update coming to the game so at least we know that we are getting clombo it really just becomes a matter of when this butter cake isn't a bad food item as it gives you 10 food and then 10 hearts as well and i believe that this only takes four or five seconds to eat which i believe is a little bit faster than what the pies are inside of this game so now let's talk about how you can make an unlimited amount of these butter cakes because i do feel as though these are going to be important but it is entirely possible that they're not going to be important whatsoever and it's just a new food item given to us when it comes to the butter cake again that's code name for clombo so it is hinting towards that which could ultimately mean that this is going to be used in some way shape or form with the clombo when it releases in the game but there is a way to make a ton of these extremely extremely quick without the use of your villagers when it comes to doing this the only requirements is having one chicken one cow a wheat farm which is very easy to have and then finally a nice little slapberry farm having those four things are going to be able to make you an infinite amount of these butter cakes without doing much work at all now the reason why you need slapberries is because you're going to throw these into the area for the chicken and in return they are going to give you back the egg now slapberries work the exact same way as the peppers and the snowberries where one seed will give you an infinite amount of that berry so you never need to refill those plots but i put that in there and they are going to now give me eggs in return next up is going to be the use from the cows the cows are going to be what give you milk and they require vines in order to make that milk now there's two ways that you guys can go and do this you can go and farm those vines yourself which are extremely easy to do and give yourself a ton of milk the other thing with this is when you collect a piece of wheat which is required to go ahead and make this 
every single wheat that you pick will not only give you a piece of wheat, but it'll also give you a piece of vine. So these two kind of go hand in hand with each other at the exact same time. When it comes to the wheat gain or the wheat grain, you get three wheat grain for every piece of wheat that you put in there. So if you were to put 20 pieces of wheat in there and that's what your farm was, you would get 60 stacks in return or 60 seeds back in return, which is a large amount. So what you can now do with those additional 40 seeds is turn those 40 into flour. So I could throw 40 into this area here and get 40 flour required in order to now make myself more of these cakes. Now, all that's left to do is to simply walk up to my oven with these ingredients and then just start throwing all of these in. The milk probably takes the longest, but obviously you could throw more vines onto more of these, but you guys can see I very quickly already have eight of these cakes extremely fast. Another way that you guys could actually do this is break both of your grills or as many grills as you have and only have ovens up and then have your workers assigned on it. That way they're only going to give you things that come from the oven, which could be a ton of these cakes. Now, another update that we did get was actually changes to some of the UI on the game. If you guys haven't noticed, when you guys are playing there's a lot of new white boxes with the letters inside them to pop out and stand out just a little bit more even when you guys pull up your map you'll notice that difference on some of these buttons down here as well so there were some little ui changes done but not too much it wasn't like we got a ton of updates here that we should all be extremely excited about we did get something but just not what we were expecting at all and while on that note i do have to apologize for getting excited about this update and dropping videos hinting at the fact that we we were going to get something. I know pretty much every single content creator in the space released videos on this, expecting that we were going to get Clombo. And obviously they now teased Clombo by giving us a butter cake. So we do know that we're going to get it. Just unfortunately, every single prediction, whether done by content creators in the space or even data miners that leak this gameplay, weren't able to get the date correct when it comes to this. It doesn't mean that we're not getting Clombo. Obviously they just hinted towards it when it comes to this update specifically with butter cake cake being the code name, but unfortunately we were all wrong as to what date we're going to get this. As far as things go right now, the next possible update day that we see it is the V30.40 update, which is scheduled to come out on August 6th. It is possible that we do get an update in between those dates on a Friday, which is typically when we do our large updates for Lego Fortnite. So maybe on Friday of this week, we do get something and today was just a little bit of a teaser. I guess we'll find out really in the upcoming days if we get something on Friday and if we don't I fully expect us to get everything else on August 6th but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always guys this was crafty and I'm out peace YouTube thinks that you're going to like either one of these videos above so click on one of them and let me know what you think down in the comment section below oh and don't don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already